welcome to your Power Plate Dynamic Recovery Workout with myself, Caroline Pierce, and Sylvie Patrick, who will be providing the modifications should you need them. Each exercise is between 30 and 60 seconds, so just follow along with us and have your machine set to a running clock of nine minutes. When it stops, hit the start or repeat button. As always, we want you well hydrated, and when you're standing on the platform, I want a slight bend in your knees. So if you're ready, let's get going. And we're gonna start with a squat matrix. So with your feet neutral, we're gonna work through three different foot positions. I'm gonna work very slowly throughout this exercise. So when you're ready, we're gonna go one, two, and three. So that's our pace, nice and controlled. Okay, switch it to a wide foot position now. Now toes facing outwards. For five, four, three, two, one. Turn sideways onto your plate now. We're gonna do an opposite reach with our foot and our arm. So take the foot across the body and we're gonna reach forward and pulse that movement. You should be feeling this through the hip, through the glute, as you reach and push into the stretch. Last 10 seconds. See if you can reach a little bit further. The last five. Three, two, one, and switch sides. So foot across the body and reach. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna to step to the same side of the body and reach overhead. So really rotate and step out, load that front leg and reach and pulse. Last 10 seconds. Increase the stretch, continue to breathe for the last five, four, three, two, one. Now to the other side. So again, same side, step and rotate and reach. Increase the range of the step, the stretch, for the last 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax. I want you now to step off the platform and into a pigeon position. We're gonna start with our left leg on the platform, sitting into that pigeon. And we're gonna use our hips as the drivers. So we're gonna push them forward and back to begin with. So you'll see my arms are moving, but it's actually my hips that are pushing forward and back as well. Side to side with the hip. Feel the stretch through your glute. Let's add a rotation now. So it's a small movement, but really effective if you can get a little bit of that movement going. And three, two, one, and switch legs. So right leg on the plate now into that pigeon again. And again, we're gonna use the hips to drive forward and back. Side to side. So the arm can initiate the movement, but it's the hips that are driving from side to side. Now rotate. Last three, two, one, and relax. Now for some quadriceps massage. 
So I want you to place your quads, your thighs on the front of the platform or on the flat of the platform. Pelvis hips slightly off the front. And we've got 30 seconds in this position. And we start by just bringing our heels to our buttocks and back down again. Allowing the vibration to ease out any tension in the muscle. Now we can take our feet outwards and inwards. So outer to inner part of the quadricep. Last three, two, one. Push up with your arms. I now want you in a lateral hip position. So get onto one hip, so it's an ITB massage. So the flat of your outer thigh is on the platform. And we're just gonna rotate from the glute onto the outer edge of the quad. Find that sticky point, that part where you feel some tension or some knots in the muscle. And you can hold it there if you want to, or you can rotate with us from side to side. Last five seconds. Two, one, and switch sides. So again, the fleshy part of your outer thigh is on the platform, and with me, rotate, rock onto the glute, and the outer part of the quadricep, the thigh. Another 15 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and relax out of that position. Now I want you to sit on the floor in front of your platform, and you're going to bring the mat between yourself and the edge of the platform to provide a little bit of support for this upper back massage. So from this position here, we're going to use our arms or our shoulders as a bit of a driver, so backwards and forwards with the chest. Now side to side. She should really be feeling the vibration on the edge of the platform, pushing into the area under your shoulder blades to release any tension. And now rotate. And relax. I want you to turn around now for a calf massage. So put your, your mat back onto the plate and for our final 60 seconds, we're gonna put the belly of our calf muscle, relax back onto our elbows, to our forearms. And from here, we can just move the feet in and out to assist the massage. Remember to breathe and relax. And now bring your toes towards you and back, towards you and back. So you're getting a bit of a stretch through the calf muscles and the Achilles. At the same time, you're getting that massage. Another 30 seconds, both feet to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. The last 15 seconds, I just want you to pull your toes towards your body, towards your leg. Hold that stretch there while you massage out your calf muscles. For another five seconds, three, two, one, and relax. And that completes our dynamic recovery workout on Power Plate. Take lots of water in, relax, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.